Hello everybody, and welcome back to War for the Overworld. Yeah, so, as we're saying, welcome back to War for the Under Overworld. Uh, just ignore him for a moment. Yes, yeah, so we're back on uh, War for the Overworld again. And we're on uh, Scenario Part 2 of, of the campaign, I do believe. And it's Part 2 of the uh, Let's Play. So, let's just continue. Right, we need to unlock that. I'll unlock that. Let's clear this. We will do. We will do. Just let's clear our list out first. Let's uh, get that going again. Yeah, so we'll need to get the runes going. Objectives in a specific area. Place a worker rally banner in that location. Build an archive under Lord. Your forgotten powers are far more impressive than those you currently. I will as soon as they've cleared all this, then we'll get one down. Oh. Get on work. Your overlord says. Get this down here. I'll start it off. And there. We need to clear that out as well. Because we want to put in something else there as well. We put the uh, little barracks there, I think. When they've done this, we also need to get the food down. On the lair. Cannot store any more gold. A cultist has found its way into your dungeon. Attracted by the magical tomes within your archive, these minions will spend most of their time researching sins for you. Though they are weak combatants, they have the power to curse your foes, making them weak to your other minions' blows. Which is very nice. Your minions are unfortunate beings of weak flesh. Build them a lair so they may rest. All right, let's get this down as a lair. A hungry minion can always find work elsewhere. Build a slaughter pen before your minions starve. Your vaults cannot store any more gold. You Put that in. Let's clear that as well. Um, we'll get this down. Get that down there. Get a gnarling coming in, it should be. <laughs> a gnarling has entered your dungeon. Alright, come on here, yeah, come on, hurry up folks, come on now, let's uh, let's get this claimed please, clear that, You've got another sin, you devil. another sin, well, I'll have to do that, that's the only one we've got. Use it within the veins of evil to unlock the tavern. 
This room provides your minions with succulent cooked pig flesh and stout ale. All right, so we need a room for that as well. Their spirits will be raised, increasing their productivity for a short time. There we go. All right, let's clear this then. As they increase in level, they will eventually rebel if there is no tavern to sate their hunger. Build one now, and remember that the tavern is unique. It must be built at least three by five. In order to be effective, three by five. To remove the fog of war in a particular area, cast the prophecy spell, which can be unlocked in the veins of evil. Right, which we don't have yet. Right, we need to clear that. I think we need to go this way at some point. Right, we need a big square. up here to need to get yeah there it is so we need to clear that 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 and that that really needs to be bigger but we're not going to be on this level too long so it doesn't matter that much there we go Come along, children. Hurry up. Let's prioritise this. It's supposed to be three by five, is it? That's one, two, three, four. That's five, and that's three. That's minimum that it that can be. We'll put that in like that. And they should start taking this stuff from there. Over to there. Uh, another sin that we can't spend any more things on it in this level, I don't think. taking the uh, artifact to be inspected by one of these cultists eventually when he's been to the tavern and have a feed uh, let's get another one of those in I'm not sure I'm going to do this this didn't plan that too well, did I? <laughs> Should have moved this this way and not this way. I think I'm going to need that there, because I think I can zap most of these. Yeah, yeah, not a worry. We can zap them. Because I want this. Identifying. Which I think it, it's probably an artifact of money. We'll see. Uh, can we make this any bigger? Yes, get another one. There we go. 
try to another gnarling. Oh, right, here we go. We Let's do it this way, shall we? Hello. Can't drop them there. Need this to be done. Captured by our friend here. Let's see if they'll walk towards it. No, they won't. Alright, we'll put that there then. Clear all that away. Has that been identified yet? No, not yet. Right. Alright, get rid of that. If any of your minions fall in combat, your workers will attempt to rescue them and return them to their lair, where they may rest and recover. Your minions have researched a sin for you. Yes, I know, but we can't do anything with them on this level. Let's go for a rest. You've identified an artifact of gold. There they go, they can see it now. If you don't want to do something, you could at least vocalize it under Lord. What are you talking about? In we go. The enemy have breached the damn walls. Steal yourselves, lads. children get on to where you should be doing when you're attacking this door there we go see how many stay to plentiful gold, 25 grand, very nice. Alright, well, they don't need to sleep or anything, let's get them in here. And they can get this broken down and we'll get in there and kill this dude and get it finished, this level. And get on to the more interesting stuff. And in we go. Charge! Oh, 
That's him dead. And once they have killed this, we win, I do believe. Shouldn't take them long to knock that down. the end of episode two folks uh, we shall continue uh, in episode three with the next uh, scenario in the campaign i thank you all very much for watching this is all gray signing off mm -hmm.